In this video, we can discuss about enzyme immobilization techniques. Here, we will discuss the definition, advantages, disadvantages, methods and applications of enzyme immobilization. So what is mean by immobilization? It is a technique of confining or anchoring of the enzyme or cells in or on an inert support for their stability and functional reuse. So in order to increase the stability as well as in order to increase the functional reuse, we will confine or anchor the enzyme or cell in an in or on an inert support. So what is mean by immobilized enzyme or cells? So that will be the enzyme or cell which are physically confined in a re, uh, defined region in space while retaining their catalytic activity and have the ability to be repeatedly and continuously used. Usually the immobilized enzyme are preferred over immobilized cell due to its specificity to yield the product in poor form. Now, what are the advantages of immobilization? Most important advantage is stable. It is stable in storage as well as operational condition towards the temperature, pH and solvent. And it have more efficient function during the operation. Immobilized enzyme have more efficient function. The immobilized enzyme can be used again and enzyme again. So we can reduce the cost of enzyme for the industrial production of some uh, in, in pharmaceutically important products. Products are enzyme free and it is very easy and effortless for the separation of the enzyme from the product. And the immobilized enzyme is ideal for multi enzyme reaction system and we can control the enzyme function very very easily and this is very suitable for the industrial as well as medicinal use and we can minimize the effluent disposal problem by immobilization technique. Now what are the disadvantages of enzyme immobilization? The possibility of reduction of loss of biological activity during the immobilization or while it is using the immobilize or while you it using for different product is the most important disadvantage there will be a reduction or loss of bio biological activity of enzyme and in order to perform the immobilization we require some sophisticated equipments as well as some tedious uh, procedures so the technique will be expensive when compared with the conventional enzymes and the, during the uh, operational process sometime we may require excess of or mass transfer of enzyme but due to the immobilization process it may be inhibited and there may be a chance for reduced activity of enzyme by immobilization and there will be a chance of bursting of immobilization media due to the cell growth and there will be a chance for uh, cell or enzyme leak out of the enzyme immobilization media. So these are some disadvantages of enzyme immobilization. Now what are the different methods of immobilization? Mobilization can be done by five different methods and this is classified based on the bond or uh, the binding between the enzyme as well as the carrier protein or inert support and the different methods are adsorption, entrapment, micro encapsulation, covalent binding and cross linking. Let's discuss one by one. First one is immobilization by adsorption. So uh, the, from the word itself we can understand that uh, in this the enzyme will get adsorbed on inert surface. So there will bind or they will form a bind or bond that is by physical binding of enzyme on the surface of inert support and the binding force may be weak forces like ionic, hydrophobic, hydrogen bond or van der Waal interaction 
and this immobilization technique is very very simple we can perform the adsorption type of immobilization by just mixing and stirring the enzyme and inert material in a beaker but the disadvantage is this is reversible so what will happen if there is any change in the ph nature of the solvent concentration of enzyme or adsorbent or if there is any change in ionic strength or temperature the adsorbed enzyme may be removed from the carrier or inert material and the major influence or the factor which will influence the quantity of enzyme adsorbed is depend on the enzyme concentration to the unit surface of the carrier and the activity of immobilized enzyme will increases with the increasing enzyme concentration and it will reach a saturation value and thereafter it will decreases the specific activity now what are the different support material which are used for the immobilization or especially in case of uh, immobilization by adsorption the inert material or support material can be divided into two inorganic material and organic material and examples for inorganic materials are alumina silica calcium phosphate gel glass metal oxide zirconia ceramics and charcoal and organic support material is again classified into natural and synthetic example for natural organic inert materials are alginate ketosan collagen carrageen carrageenan uh, gelatin cellulose starch pectin and albumin and synthetic organic or organic synthetic supporting materials are polystyrene polyvinyl chloride polyacrylate polyamide glutaraldehyde activated nylon diethyl amino ethyl cellulose or DEAE cellulose then DEAE sephardex and polyethylene glycol so that is the immobilization by adsorption method now what are the different methods of adsorption for immobilization there are four methods first one is static process from the word itself we can understand this is a static process without stirring so in this immobilization is done by allowing the solution containing enzyme to contact with the carrier without stirring and second method is dynamic batch process in which the immobilization is carried out by placing in the enzyme solution which is mixed with the carrier by stirring or mechanical agitation next method is reactor loading process in which carrier is placed in a reactor and then enzyme solution is transferred to the reactor with the continuous process and next method is electrode position process in which carrier is placed near to the electrode in which an enzyme bath and then the current is on the enzyme will migrate to the carrier and it will deposit on the surface of carrier protein so these are the different methods for adsorption for the immobilization process now these are some examples of enzyme which are adsorbed on some matrices by enzyme immobilization by adsorption method alpha amylase on calcium phosphate catalase on charcoal glucose oxidase on cellophane invertase on charcoal or DEAE sephardex and amino glucosidase on agarose gel so that is the enzyme immobilization by adsorption now coming to the second method immobilization by the entrapment so in this there will be a physical entrapment of the enzyme inside an polymer or gel matrix usually a water soluble gel or matrix is used to entrap the enzyme and here the bond which is formed during the entrapment process may be covalent or non-covalent and the size of matrix pore is adjusted in such a way that the enzyme is retained while the substrate and the product molecules will pass through the uh, entrapped matrix in this technique the commonly uh, referred uh, this technique is commonly referred to as lattice entrapment uh, the enzyme is not subjected to, to too strong binding forces and structural distortion but somehow 
there will be some deactivation due to some change in pH, temperature or addition of the solvents. Now what are the different polymers or matrix which are used for the entrapment of enzyme? Examples are alginate, polyacrylamide gels, collagens, gelatin, starch, cellulose and silicone and rubber. An enzyme is dissolved in a solution of precursor of the polymer and then polymerization is initiated for the immobilization of entrapment. And the entrapment can be done by different methods like enzyme inclusion in gel in which the entrapment of enzyme will be inside a gel of matrix. Then enzyme inclusion in the fiber in this enzyme is trapped in the fiber format of the matrix. Then enzyme inclusion in microcapsule. In this case, the enzyme are trapped in say the micro mi, microcapsule matrix, and the hydrophobic and hydrophilic form of matrix polymerase to form the microcapsule containing enzyme molecule inside. Now, what are the advantages of entrapment method? This is fast and cheap method. And this is relatively benign attachment method and it is very easy to perform but there is some disadvantages like mass transfer limitation and there will be a chance for cell or enzyme leakage from the matrix and some cell or enzyme may be get deactivated now coming to next method of uh, immobilization that is immobilization by micro encapsulation so as we mentioned before there are different type of entrapment process micro encapsulation is a type of entrapment uh, method thereby we can immobilize the enzyme in the uh, enzyme immobilization by micro encapsulation is refers to the process of spherical particle formation wherein the liquid or suspension of enzyme is enclosed in semi permeable membrane and the permeable or the membrane which is used for the Micro encapsulation may be polymeric, lipoidal, lipoprotein based or non ionic in nature. And there are three distinct ways of micro encapsulation that is, building of a, sphere, a special membrane reactor, formation of emulsion, stabilization of emulsion to form micro capsules. Now, this is the procedure for the micro encapsulation. We have to take the organic solvent which containing the polymer to be encapsulated and uh, we have to take the aqua solution of the enzyme and then we will mix this together and we will stir it with higher speed so it will form uh, a micro encapsulation around the aqua solution of enzyme with the uh, polymers like uh, lipoidal or uh, lipoidal polymers around the aqueous solutions of enzyme. Now what are the advantages of micro encapsulation method immobilization by micro encapsulation. Uh, it will produce uh, micro capsules with the high surface to volume ratio and it, they, the, they will form a thin membrane of micro encapsulated uh, immobilized enzymes then this is relatively benign attachment method and this is used for the immobilization of enzyme as well as the mammalian cell and there are uh, some disadvantages like uh, this is not easily uh, this is more easily damaged than uh, gel beads so that is the micro encapsulation by uh, oh sorry that is the immobilization by micro encapsulation method